might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are pulled It just started raining this is the first rain we've had probably in about three weeks. Looks good. I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And we hope everyone is having a great day today. Uh, this is Father's Day, and I hope that everyone's going to be celebrating today with your father. Or if you are a father, hope you'll be celebrating with your children coming by to visit today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to our children coming by. I am too. Uh, Kimberly and Addison have been gone to North Carolina for a full week. Yeah. And so they got home last night, didn't they, Marie? Yes. And so hopefully we'll get to see them today. We hadn't seen little Addison in a whole week. I know. That's <laughs> one week too long. <laughs> For us, that's a long time, isn't it? It sure is. Uh, let me mention first, uh, I did talk to Kim last night. And on the shirt order last week, uh, I really appreciate everybody ordering. Last Sunday, that was the last day you could order. Uh, before the store closed and we had a lot of people that placed orders on yeah. that one day So we really do appreciate that Kim said that all the orders ha are being processed and they'll start mm -hmm. printing uh, all the shirts this coming week And so that means they'll be getting shipped out real soon after they print them So uh, and that shirts aprons hats and everything. Yeah. So we really appreciate everybody ordering and I'm not sure exactly when we'll be getting them because we're waiting on ours too, aren't we, Marie? Yeah. But when they come in, if you would like to, take a picture of them and send it to our uh, email. And we're going to post them on one of our videos at the end of the video if, if you want to do that, okay? Uh, last year when we did that, we didn't have too many people to send <laughs> us a picture, but we did appreciate the ones we got. Right. Um, Marie, this week... This weather has been crazy, hasn't it? <laughs> we uh, started off very hot and dry, and we finally got some rain. Yeah. And believe me, our garden needed that rain really bad. Um, and first two times it rained, it was just a good soaking rain, and it really, you know, really did good. And I could tell the weeds was growing in the garden. That's how you know your garden's growing good. That's when them weeds start popping up everywhere. <laughs> And then I believe it was about Thursday night, we got a real bad storm uh, late at night time, and it rained extremely hard for about 20 minutes, I think. And I went outside and looked, and the gladiolis, they had been standing up so pretty, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and over half of them, it beat them down and broke them over. Indeed. And of course, <laughs> if you grow gladiolis, you know that that's what they do. They, will, uh, they get tall, and the weight of them will make them fall over. Now you can take the time to put stakes on them. I'm looking at them out there right now thinking, <laughs> uh, I hate that those are bent over because they're so pretty. Yeah, I think the yellow ones are the prettiest. They are. Mm. But you can take time and stake them up so they'll stand up longer. But I just didn't get a chance to do that this year. So uh, th after that last storm though, we hadn't had any rain since then, have we, Marie? Mm -hmm. So now it's just hot and humid. Our temperature has been going up to 86, 88 degrees. And I dread when it gets on into the 90s, don't you? Right. <laughs> uh, now, I had, you know, y'all know I've got those plastic bags around my garden to try to keep the deer out. And so far, it's worked. Uh, I have not actually seen the deer this last week in my yard, 
but my neighbor across the street said that he did see them in my yard uh, early one morning. And so uh, what I did, I moved my trail cam out there to a different spot, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try to get some video of those deer coming into the yard from a different spot. You got to have that camera so many feet away from them or it won't pick them up. Huh. And evidently they're coming in the yard and those plastic bags are keeping them away from the garden itself. I'm glad that you learned that trick. <laughs> well, I've been doing that trick for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of times you and I would be driving around in the summertime and we would see gardens, you know, all over the south. Everybody's got gardens in their yard. And I'd see all them plastic bags hanging. Mm -hmm. And so I found out that that's what they were doing is putting them out to keep yeah. the deer away. So huh. I, we started doing it. Years ago, uh, now we got our garden right now, just right there at the back door. You can see it looking straight out. But years ago, when I was a lot younger, we had our garden down there in the bottom lot, and the garden was about probably three times the size it is now. And it wasn't so much the deer then, it was the crows eating the <laughs> corn. <laughs> yeah, that used to be so frustrating. <laughs> you plant corn, and by the time it starts to come up, them crows would come in there and just grab every bit of it. Yeah. But that was years ago. I don't want a garden that big anymore. No. Mm. Marie, uh, this last week, we, uh, we were sort of busy with some things that we had to do personally. And so we only got to do uh, one cooking video this last week. Mm -hmm. But that was a really good video, wasn't it? It was really an easy dessert for me. And then the um, Mexican rice was mm -hmm. so delicious. We ate off of it a couple of times this week. We did. And it was just really good. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that was the only cooking video we did. And that cake you made, the... Uh, orange chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's just got yeah. the best combination of flavors to it. Yeah. And There's so many variations you can do. <laughs> yeah. And several people suggested eating it with ice cream. Yeah. And I was going to get me some last night with ice cream. Mm -hmm. And I ended up going to bed and forgot all about getting it late last night. <laughs> I was going to let that be my late night snack. And I forgot all about it. Mm -hmm. But we've still got just a few pieces of that cake left. Mm -hmm. So I may get me one more slice of it today and put some ice cream with it. It's a but, real quick, easy dessert. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and of course, last week I did not do a garden update video because it had rained so much and the garden stayed wet. I didn't get out there working in it that much. And uh, so this coming week I'll do us a real good garden update and let you know how everything's looking out there. But, um, and you, Marie was talking to me this morning, you've got a real good recipe that you're wanting to make this yeah. coming week, so we'll try our best to get to that. We've got uh, a lot of things going on with doctor's appointments and tests and all that stuff. If you're getting close to our age, you know what I'm talking about. It seems like every time you turn around, uh, they want you to come back to the doctor or go get a test, don't they, Marie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and that's, that's not what we want to do right now. We want to enjoy life, right? <laughs> so, so, I'm just uh, glad to be here right now. <laughs> I tell you, after what you've been through and what I've been through, just to be able to sit here and talk to people early in the morning right. like this, it's just fantastic. Right. And uh, Now, of course, this is Saturday morning, yeah. uh, but you'll be watching this on Sunday, Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to our children coming by to see us and yeah. uh, just spend a few minutes with us. I appreciate that, don't you? I do. <laughs> okay, Marie, well, well, we'll let this video go short today because I know everybody's got plans and things they want to do today. And I hope you get to enjoy it with your family and hope you have a great Father's Day. And we will be seeing you on our next video. And like Kevin said, we hope everyone has a great Father's Day, and we'll be seeing you on our next video. And so, y'all, do what you love and love what you do, and bye.
like every day.